This is Alma's Kitchen and Bakery, take one, apple pie. Kitchen. Welcome to Alma's Kitchen. We're going to make apple pie, my famous apple pie. Uh, my secret ingredient is, besides cinnamon, is um, little pieces of butter uh, cut and scattered all over the top of the apple before you put the top on and the butter cooks in with the apple juices and uh, adds a bit more flavour to it. <laughs> I learned how to bake apple pies at school. Uh, so, and then I, because I, I made, I was such a good pastry cook then, compared with my mother, who tended to make um, roll of pastry out about half an inch thick, you know. So when I made my first apple pie at home, my father told me I'd got the job. And uh, from then on, I always had the job of making apple pies. So I was about 13, 14, something like that, when we did that in domestic science at Broughton High School. That's where I learned how to make pancakes and uh, scones, different things like that. Um, but uh, my dad liked the apple pie best. Um, first of all, We'll start with uh, uh, peeling the apples. Now, usually, um, I usually get um, one of the grandchildren to do this for me, so I'm not very good at it. Let's uh, I'll see. Lemon juice onto the apples to stop them from going brown. Now I'm going to make the pastry. First of all, we weigh out the flour. Uh, Ten ounces to make it. Then I can use the uh, anything that's left over to make a lemon meringue. Uh, put that in the mixer. We need five ounces of butter, half as much butter to flour. And since I did uh, ten ounces of flour, we need five ounces of butter. Five. Uh, not a bad guess. I'll just cut a little bit off of that to go on the apples. butter so I won't usually put some salt in the, with the flour but because it's salted butter I won't put any in. So I'll add some water now, not too much. Now, four, five, six. This is nice and cold, let's come out of the fridge. because there'll be some trimmings that will add to it, so. Uh, plenty of flour, so it won't stick. Now your rolling pin. Ready pastry in the from the supermarket. Um, that's that's all right. Um, if I don't feel like making my own pastry, that's what I use. But that's not made with butter. That's just made with um, fat. 
bottle, something like that. So you roll that out nice and thin. Don't want, don't want the pastry too too much pastry. Just check that. It's gonna be big enough to go up the side. That should be right. Go to the dish well. Then to get it in, start at the top and roll it up and put the dish there and you roll it and then just tuck it down inside. Then you trim it. You get it one hand. Big Bramley apples. I'd use about three, but these weren't very big, so I think they were used about five. Morrisons are good, uh, and they are good. Do usually have baking apples. Morrisons nearly always have them as well. You know, decent size ones. Um, right, well, that's even. Now we'll put the sugar on. Granulated sugar, you want four, five ounces. Put a spoonful in, empty. Right, now roll out the top. in the top to let the steam out. Uh, you just have to be careful because it's very crumbly. Put it on there again. is where you moistened it with water to seal it. So press it all down. And then trim it again. That's a bit heavy now because of the apples. Um, about three quarters of an hour. Uh, usually it starts, the juice starts bubbling there and you know that the Apples are cooked, and when it's all nice and uh, brown on top, brush the top with milk. You can use uh, egg and milk, but um, rather than waste an egg, I just use milk because I'm going to put that. Uh, I'm going to put some um, demerara sugar on it. Just enough to moisten the top. Feel the edges between my two fingers and 
and just bend with the other hand. Just stretch it so it won't. The juice won't boil out too much. That's it. Now then, put some temporary sugar here. So I'll just use this to sprinkle it on. Put your demerara on shot on top and it'll go nice and crusty. Right, ready for the oven now. Just put in the foil there in case the juice from the, the uh, apple pie should boil over. It'll go on there and you can get rid of that. It saves spoiling you with your baking tray. In about 40 45 minutes, it should be ready to take out. It'll start sort of bubbling when it's, uh, you know, when it's cooked. And uh, in about 40 minutes, we'll have a look and see how it's doing. <laughs> 